integration as a limit of sum we saw in the previous video but in this video we'll be seeing some formulas which will be very useful in solving the questions related to integration as a limit of sum so all these are basically related to the sum only say the first formula second third fourth fifth and sixth that we are going to study six formulas i've written in front of you all these are very important and most of these you have started already but this is just a recap let's see it says 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till n minus 1 why i'm taking n minus 1 and not n you remember from the previous video in the previous video we saw that there were n strips and last we were taking a plus n minus 1 into h okay so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till n minus 1 what is the summation it is simply n into n minus 1 by 2 this is derived from 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n it was n into n plus 1 by 2 that we studied in our previous classes here it is not n but n minus 1 so wherever you have n substitute n minus 1 this becomes n minus 1 this becomes n upon 2 so n minus 1 n upon 2 similarly you can derive for 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till n minus 1 whole square it is n n minus 1 to n minus 1 upon 6 these all have to be learnt and memorized next is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube till n minus 1 whole cube so it is n into n minus 1 by 2 whole square that is n square multiply by n minus 1 whole square upon 4 next you see is a plus ar plus ar square till ar raised to the power n minus 1 that means gp geometric progression what is the sum of the terms in a geometric progression a that is the first term multiplied by common ratio raised to the power n minus 1 upon common ratio minus 1 since r is in the denominator it should not be equal to 1 otherwise the answer would be not defined next sin a plus sin a plus h till sin a plus n minus 1 into h and similarly cos a cos a plus h and similarly cos a plus n minus 1 into h you can easily learn these formulas see when it is the formula of sin sin a plus n minus 1 into h by 2 that has to be done when it is the formula of cos just replace sin by cos cos a plus n minus 1 into h by 2 and whatever the formula may be for sin or cos these two terms are going to be the common sin nh by 2 here also sin nh by 2 sin h by 2 here also sin h by 2 the proof and all is not under the scope of class 12th there is no need of studying it but yes the formulas trick i've told you for sine you will be replacing sine for cos you'll be placing cos these two terms don't change these two terms have to be the same so in the next videos let's get started with the numericals based on integration by sum